the chocolates. What the frick is that? We got the chocolates. Don't they do dad jokes? <laughs> we got the chocolates. Wait, there's a podcast? Yes. Really? <laughs> Scarehouse, welcome back to another episode of the We Got The Chocolates podcast. I'm Lee. I'm Skin. I'm Gertie. And that is Mikus over there. Hello. Mikus films, then chimes in when we need him. You've probably arrived by accident, but definitely stay for a laugh. We Got The Chocolates, that is a win. And by that, what I mean is We Got The Chocolates is a phrase that we say to signify you won. Just to give a little bit more context, if you're a first-time listener, it probably makes no sense. So there you are. There's that up front. Um, chips, hot chips, super rooster, Toowoomba. It's, Gertie said it last week, and we were like... That's pretty rare. And I had no idea what was happening. And oh, then yeah. we've since put it on TikTok mm-hmm. and a lot of support for Godi's recommendation. <laughs> Super Rooster to Woomba. So we're literally going to have to go and try them. You've never tried them, have you, Skin? No, not at all. I've never heard of them. You ever, have you ever tried them, Godi? Yeah. No, it was, it, was, it was a blind recommendation. <laughs> Mikus, have you ever tried them? I haven't. Well, there's only one thing for it, really. Like, probably yeah, just, probably just go over there and taste it. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say we won't do anything about it as mm. per usual and then we'll just continue taking Gody's word for it. And, I yeah. think you should just take my word for the most things moving forward anyway. So. Yeah, that's true. I can believe how much support that got. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Hot chips. Also a bit of confusion about- in the about. world still has to be a big call, doesn't it? Yeah, well, maybe nope. we need some <laughs> other- Okay. So we could be some other recommendations. Like if you're in the US listening yeah. and you feel like you've got hot chips, a lot of people confused by the fact that we called them chips too. Because like chips can be hot, but also in Australia, but also chips can be no. cold <laughs> slash room temperature. <laughs> Fuck Cooked, God. but cooled down. <laughs> <laughs> chips no. can also be part of our golf performance that and, was really good and yesterday. And also oh, what you might use at the casino. Nice, well. exactly. What else can chips be part of? Mm. Uh, you've got your wood chips, yep. obviously, which I stole from Lee. And, and which John Williamson stole from you, mm-hmm. Rip Rip Wood Chip, turn mm-hmm. it into paper. Yep. Tune, that's a wonderful song. And then your chips out of things. Like you're out of the table yeah, here. There's yeah. a chip out of the table. Yeah. Might chip your tooth. And chip, oh. off, chip off the old block. Oh, nice. I think we've covered chips enough. Mm. Uh, make us nothing to do with chips, so hard to make a sub subway. <laughs> 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 what? It is hard to make a oh. subway. As we've always said, the sandwich artists, they Great. don't get enough of it. Wow. So, that's right. uh, but also hard to make a segue. But you, your, <laughs> friendship, your friendship with skin, I just you had a great example this week, I think, of uh, just a caring, yeah. kind friend. Yeah. Um, so on oh, probably Thursday or Friday last week, I've headed out to get a coffee. Mm. I've noticed skin's coffee card for across the road. There's one coffee left to purchase and then he gets a free one. And I sort of picked it up and gone, you know what? He's going to have a little treat when he gets here Monday morning because he's going to get a free coffee. So I popped over, got a coffee, put the card in my pocket, forgot to get it stamped, <laughs> and then I've gone home and realised it's still in my pocket <laughs> and not stamped and now I've since lost it. Is, is it a cardboard? Like, is it made of cardboard, the card? Yeah. 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 And so do you reckon that you've put those pants through the wash? Doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. See, that's, that's a conundrum. It's a nice, yeah. nice to be unhygienic so in that yeah. scenario. Yeah. So it could still be safe. Yeah. Different yeah, topic. I, I don't know where it is. How many, oh, wow. yeah. This okay. reminds me, how many times do you reckon you can wear, would you wash shorts less regularly than you would wash shirts? 100%. I think so. You can wash. You can yeah. wear shorts a lot more days in a row, can't you? Yeah. yeah. I, I think two's fine. I wouldn't get more than two. You'd say three's a crowd. Yep. In this I'd in say, short scenario. I'd say three's a, three's a green. <laughs> No, that's not it. That's not it yet. No, um, <laughs> yeah. no, two I reckon is fine if you're not doing oh, much. Yeah, yeah. No, One I'd, day in a shirt wash. I'd yeah, say if you're not doing much, I'd go two in a shirt. It's fine. Easy. What if dinner dinner in a shirt only at night? You can rewear that the next day. Surely. Yeah, of course. Okay, so yeah. it's more the okay. sweat factor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. I'm not sure how we got onto that. No, uh, no. Mick is good friend. Well done. Mm. So no oh, coffee right, for yeah. skin. Uh, no. no no uh, free coffee. Yeah, so I spent forty five dollars on coffees and was about to get a free one, and now I'll just never get it. Yeah, but I had to start a new car this morning. This will be good, go Mika. So it's allow space for your butt. No, I wish I didn't say butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually did go and buy a skin of coffee yeah. because I did that. Oh, so you got. So when I do that. find the card, that's my coffee. <laughs> Just kidding. It's skins. I love you. <laughs> I'm a good friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh, let's so get on to joke of the week. 
They can be left for us and we enjoy listening to them. It's at wegotthechocolates.com.au. Uh, you can leave them on the chalk line there. This week, I believe it was sent in by Oscar and we chose it this week. I think Dave the Brit, the nose jack shit, our producer, he chose it because Oscars were this week or last nice. week, recently. There you go. G'day, lads. Uh, studied a bit of horse anatomy back in high school and uh, it wasn't a very uh, popular class, so there was only one other person uh, in there with me. Uh, it was my neighbour. <laughs> Cheers, lads. All the best. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That's good. That's your best one so far, Dave. <laughs> well done. That's the, he's, you're back. That's, That's not... his best one so far. Yeah, well, he's oh, do you remember the other ones? Yeah, I know. Comfortably. We shouldn't be applauding two out of ten jokes. I'm sorry. Well, he's only chosen three. Oh, yeah. One got him on report. No, as in, that was a two out of ten, and that's the best one so far, so we shouldn't still be applauding that. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, show. that's yeah. not a two. I feel like that's Low a pretty um, a stable entry, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's better. That's, that's a bit, not yeah. better. That is. No, that that is. Absolutely, that is absolutely, he's done that in a canter, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Skid, can you stop horsing around over yeah, there? Honestly, mate. That, that, is that even a saying? Does that even make, yes. What, off at a canter? Yeah. Or horsing around? Yeah. Horsing around's a saying. Of course it is. Yeah. What fucking rock have you been living on, champ? Skid, you're having a rough trot here, Skid. Cheats on seats. <laughs> I hate you. No, you don't. I really don't do think you do, Skid. No. <laughs> Skid, I've got an equestrian for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. Oh, giddy up out of here, Skid. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, we're right. be fucking ready to do it. Yeah, I've, well, I've got a written job. Oh, you've got to do that. I guarantee it won't be good, anything better than the last two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that yeah. two minutes worth? <laughs> two minutes, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's two minutes is a long time, isn't it? As I always say, yeah, yeah. I've been oh, trying man. to say that for years. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Years. All right, written joke sent in by Mike. Mike, open bracket. Lionel, don't ask Walsh. I thought you were going to say something very different there. I'm glad you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I know he tells us not to ask, but I don't get that at all. So sorry, Mike. Lionel, don't ask. Lionel, don't ask. Lionel, don't ask. Is it Lionel, Lionel is saying, comma, don't ask? Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Is he saying Lionel's not a great name, maybe? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Or maybe he's oh, saying it's sorry. a wonderful flooring. Sorry for reading that out then. <laughs> <laughs> give us, what you, would he have said it? Give us your three <laughs> favourite Lionels. Richie. Yep. Messi. Yep. Hutz. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Miguel Sanchez. <laughs> I was again going to say flooring. So <laughs> that was just for you. I teed that out for you, just for you, buddy. <laughs> is this Simpsons? Really? Yeah, yeah, I think fuck's so. happening. Yeah. I'm going to assume it is. Everyone's not. <laughs> it's okay. definitely a Simpsons oh, reference. It's so good. It's it? fucking great. <laughs> uh, Skinny, you got that written joke? Yeah, yeah whenever you yeah. fucking ready. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Mike, <clears throat> went to go to my tobacconist the other day, got there, and it had been turned into a haberdashery. Oh. Anyone know what a haberdashery is? I'll look all. it up. Isn't uh, it like um, they do like cushions and stuff like that? Yeah. Have I got that right? Like articles of clothing, yeah. sewing equipment, yeah, things that for knitting, stuff. that yeah. sort of stuff. So, really? Yeah. So went to my tobacconist the other day, got there and found out it had been turned into a haberdashery. Mm. Clothes but no cigar. Bang. Good. Good. Real good. Real good. Very good. Mainly for the yeah. fact that it's quite educational. I can't imagine there's too many people listening that know what a haberdashery is. I said that right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I hope so because that's how I said it. Did you know what I, it was? I'm going to say they don't exist anymore. There you Haberdasheries. Go. I've just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> they've, been, they've been replaced by clothing reckon, stores yeah, now. I think people still sell sewing equipment somewhere. So. Yes, that's yeah, in Genobi. a home economics class. Oh, Genobi. Yeah. <laughs> what was the joke we did about Genobi? You said, do you know me? And I said, oh, yeah, yeah I do one for the sewing machine fans out there or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Jeez, we've had some good gear oh, on this podcast. Honestly, honestly, we're not getting paid fucking nearly enough. And we don't rehearse it. That's the other funny thing. Mm. Uh, I did rehearse this part. Joke of the week. Brought to you by our friends at Better Beer. Five great tasting beers. Don't need to re- rehearse out. that because oh. you just tell them the truth, mate. Well, that is true. That's not rehearsed. That's just facts. I present facts. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's better what than lying to people, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> lying or lying or <laughs> Shut up. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this week, but uh, the Australian Richest 250 list came out last week. None how, of us were on it. How did we it. go? No, it was just weird. <laughs> <laughs> 
Two fifty one. No money. Just, just for the uh, second year in a row. Uh, just missed out. Six hundred and forty eight dollars in my bank account. Yeah. Okay. You know what I noticed? Some people have a lot of money. Hey. Mm. Yes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but like, do you know? I would have thought Taylor Swift was quite wealthy. She didn't feature prominently in the Australian Richest Two Fifty. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> but Taylor Swift, you'd think quite wealthy, right? You'd think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like four hundred in the world. 40 in America, but yeah, like okay. not even that. And she's a billionaire. Yeah. Recently. Mm-hmm. Billion dollars is a lot of money. That's yeah. 10, no, 100. How many million? Thousand. Thousand million. Thousand million. Yeah. Heavens. That's a lot of money. That's, That's so much. So much. Skin, get us some of that, would you? <laughs> uh, get us some of your finest billions. Yeah, skin. Fucking worry about $45 it? spent on coffee. <laughs> <laughs> How many free coffees could we get? Um, yeah, so some names. <laughs> some names. would be free. Serious, serious yeah. question. Like if you had like you just shit loads, like just a bucket. Yeah. How much would you spend on a coffee without like, don't, so don't keep the change? Oh, nice. Oh. Keep the change on your cards hard and I never yeah, carry cash. Yeah, yeah no, Keep ne- the change. Neither. They've got a billion. <laughs> <laughs> Like if, if it was like a $4.80 coffee and no, you just had like a 20, no. would you have like a 20 in your wallet? You just go, yeah, just that'll do. I don't know, but then I feel like people get rich no. by being quite Yeah, you don't get fucking miserable. But if you've already <laughs> got billions. <laughs> I was going to say miserable. I was going to say frugal. Yeah. Not. Yeah, potentially. I don't know. Yeah, I imagine you'd stay quite frugal. I'd mm. still be disappointed to be charged like six seventy for a coffee. I would, I'd be flattening. Mm. Flat sure, <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Well, oh. no. uh, actually, funny that you say that too, Skin. You set that up well because it was actually uh, the inventor of the coffee machine, Gina Grindhart, that's <laughs> actually at the top of the list uh, with $50.48 billion. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but some other like names here that I thought were interesting. Um, Harry At number five, Harry Triggerboof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, oh, the, 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 the gun salesman, obviously. <laughs> you know what he actually does? Have you ever heard Trick, that name before? Oh, give Trick us a clue. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> owner of Meriton. Oh, so oh we can hotels. trip. The reason he's a billionaire is because we stayed there last week, Skin. Yeah. For two nights. Yeah. No, another late day last week, too. <laughs> <weeks, well done. laughs> <laughs> fucking three hours late. That was good on you. Well done. <laughs> we weren't late. Everyone else was late. We were fine. Oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah. No, Genu- I never, never your guys' fault. Actually, while we're talking about it, there was no bin in our hotel room. So I reckon he's got to work on that. Uh, he also disappointed. Speaking of working on things, I got up there and my room wasn't unlocked. <laughs> I was asleep on the couch experience. for the first night. <laughs> what? Why yeah. didn't you just go downstairs? Reception. Can you unlock exactly my door? We did yeah. do. Well, yeah. we did do that, but like, for the sake of the story, I wanted to put oh, some mayo. Sorry, no, that's yeah. sorry. Yeah. That, that was more mayo than sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that before, though? That so, it was. <laughs> it was a three room. Was a two, like, yeah, there yeah. were three bedrooms, but like they just locked the doors if you only book two or something. So I've never seen that before. Yeah, well, we had book two and two and only one was unlocked. So it was, yeah. it was we had that great deal where it was buy two, get yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love paying double. It's yeah. the best. Literally. One of the great it's meal so deals. Yeah. <laughs> buy two and just get a single one. Yeah. But yeah and so then even nice. the bathroom door was locked. We just. Yeah, did know. you book the bathroom? Yeah. Come on, Skin. <laughs> where, did, where did you do Obviously, poo? you've got to pay. <laughs> yeah. um, and then the other, the other ones I thought, Skin, who's at Atlass- Atlassian? Number six and seven, Mike and Scott. Must be. What do they do? Uh, Atlassian. Well, it's a software company. They do sort of like work management stuff. They built Jira, which, yeah, like manages tasks and tickets for projects and whatnot. And then they bought Trello. Oh, yeah. that's, that's how you would know them. Oh, that's used, where I've seen the email. Yeah, if you've used Trello before. It too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but they, they, I think they went public. The company went public in 2015 for like $4.5 billion. So they were the first Australian billionaires from a tech startup. Wow. Yeah. Now that is cool, Skin. Yeah. Well done. How much would you gamble if you had $4.5 billion? Oh. Well, (laughs) actually, funny you ask, Cody, because I wanted to look at what people do spend money on if they're that rich. (laughs) And I found three great examples. And this isn't even billionaires. This is people that have won the lottery. Yeah, nice. And millionaires, right? So Evelyn Adams has won the lottery not once but twice (sighs) and has burned through about $6 million at poker tables. Oh, my days. How much did she win, though? It, Does it say? It doesn't actually go on to say. I'm nearly okay with it. Sure. <laughs> she won five million. <laughs> like if it was like if it was say like thirty. Like oh. yeah. What she's burned through six and one thirty. Yes, yeah, so let's say she won thirty and then like over the next period of time she's burned through six. Oh yeah, well, surely poker. that's fine. I'm fine with that. But if you've got six I million, you've lost she's won, six million. If, she, if she's won six point five and burnt through six, oh, there's some issues there. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, that's yeah. what I'm asking. Yeah. yeah, okay. I can't imagine. She, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. 
The, the other guy, Roger, won three point two million in lottery as well. Spent tons of money trying to get his college band to the top of the music charts. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, didn't work. Band split up. No. And burned through all the money. No. Okay, through. that's absolutely ridiculous. That is. What's your name, Roger? Roger. <laughs> Roger. Um, have you guys got any examples of like purchases? You I'm made? sure my we're wife not, does. We're not, <laughs> we're not even that wealthy. Not even that wealthy, but purchases you've made that uh, you're probably not that happy with, Mikas. You're nodding. Yeah. Um, when I was 21, mm-hmm. I bought a black pug. <laughs> Oh, like an actual like a dog. dog, like a, real a dog. dog. Yeah, thousands of dollars. Nice. Um, and I still feel bad for doing this, but I gave the dog to a friend after about a month. What? I loved the dog for a month. I got it tattooed on myself, <laughs> and unfortunately, that was also an impulse buy, and I still have the tattoo. Obviously, obviously, yeah. Um, Although the tattoo now just looks like a black smudge. Oh, it's terrible. But also, yeah. So don't obviously buy dogs if you don't plan on keeping them. But the dog also went to a way better home, uh, which is good. But that was an impulse buy that I shouldn't have done. Yeah, that sucks. That mm-hmm. is pretty impulsive and like a living creature. Which like mine's, yeah. mine's a surfboard, uh, oh, yeah. and I've never ever stood up on a wave. I did surf. I took it like four times, and I but went I, paddling. No, yeah, I went paddling, and then it hurt my shoulders. And then yep. some guy that was good at surfing said, "Oh, you just have to find your arms." And I'd never found him. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've never heard said, anyone say that. It was like, because so. I was winded about how hard paddling is. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, you get used to it. You just got to find your arms. And yeah. I did it for like three days and I was like, nah, this sucks. I'm never finding these things. On that topic, is there anything worse than strangers giving you advice? For no was it a stranger? Reason? Yeah, it was a stranger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, it was Mick Fanning. Yeah. In the back. <laughs> <Idiot>. <laughs> what does he know? Yeah, no. Well, I, I I can't think of a ton of like big ticket items that I've wasted money on, but I remember what I, I well I still spend almost all of my excess cash on food, like takeaways mm-hmm. and Guzmans and things like that. I, I love <laughs> for some reason I just love not cooking my food. But anyways, I remember when I was really young, I would have been maybe twelve or thirteen, and I'd been working some part time job, maybe like refing touch games or something, and I'd saved up my first thousand dollars, and I was like super excited about having a thousand dollars. You were almost like, on this list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like telling mum I'm a thousand dollar. I was real ch- real chuffed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, I was really excited, and then I started. I changed school in grade eight, so I was thirteen. Started catching the bus, and the bus dropped me off outside of Domino's every oh, day. No. <laughs> nice. Oh, that hurts. And they were doing these little puff pancake things. Yeah, yeah I was back to zero dollars in about six months. Mm. That's a lot of money to spend. <laughs> Not pancakes. Um, yeah. And like from Domino's, the pancakes. Yeah, surely you've gone to like Pancake Manor or something. They were delicious. I guess the and bus would have right. had to drop you quite yeah. out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Dropped him in the city and down to fucking Redlands. <laughs> We put it out to uh, we put it out to the chockies as well on Instagram and got some interesting ones, particularly because I was spitting the dummy about my golf round yesterday. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of golfing related ones. This one from Stefan, mm-hmm. I thought was brilliant. Golf balls, biggest waste of money. Might as well hit one pound coins every shot. Nah, <laughs> getting got to get good golf balls. You're going to get better. What's yeah. your name, Stefan? Stefan. Yeah. Uh, Luke brought a foot by foot piece of land in Scotland so that I could become a Lord Title. I like that. How drunk was that guy? <laughs> Lord Luke, you know, ring to it. Uh, Twilight vampire, Twilight in brackets vampire film. We're familiar. Yep. yep. Uh, betting on the eve of my twenty first birthday, Gertie. I thought you'd like that one. He's obviously not expecting any Ronnies. I'm sure. <laughs> So yeah, I thought that might be a nice one for your little grow up chat that you usually <laughs> throw uh, on the golf topic. Uh, yeah, on the golf topic as well. Three and a half k on clubs to struggle to shoot under a hundred. Oh, yeah. <laughs> skin shot sixty on a part. Oh, I know that's the other fucking day. so many. I can't stress <laughs> how many that is. I understand, mate. I I get no, how many this, it is. And also, get... that was not meant to be public information. No, but oh, this, <laughs> why I get angry? Why I get frustrated? Just, your swing is fine. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't you say this matter, all the time, but yeah, yeah. it's just no. But no, it's, you just no. It golf actually is makes a lot more than just having a nice swing. Not that mine's particularly nice. It's no, but just it, fine. It actually is. No, it's more than fine. Okay. It's the best. It's the best swing at this table, apart from obviously me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mate, I averaged three and a half putts a hole. <laughs> I'm never going to oh, break under. Oh, you call you Victor? Put, 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 put. Who the hell is Victor? It's a lawnmower, you fuck with. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, blame the algorithm. The, the algorithm's always right. Nice. So right. So right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> No, we haven't done like jingles for a while. You forget, yeah, what they are. 
Yeah. That one? Yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> is it a Reebok or a Nike? <laughs> oh, that's the greatest video ever. Oh, is that? <laughs> that really is. Sometimes when we're real bored, me and Cody just send that video to each other. It's just like over Instagram. We'll just like so find good. it again six months later. And it goes for like four minutes. Yeah. Full YouTube so, 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 Reebok or a Nike? Is it a Reebok, Reebok or a Nike? A Reebok or a Nike? <laughs> you got to watch the video if mm. you haven't Have you seen, seen it. it. You haven't seen that? No, I don't know what you're talking about. So you know that song that we've yeah. done the jingle to? We've changed it to The Algorithm's Always Right. Yeah, no, I know that, yeah. The original <laughs> song is... The Rhythm of the Night. Rhythm of the yep. Night. Yep. And then there's a guy that does like a call and he calls a radio station and asks them to play... <laughs> is, is it, it a Reebok, Reebok or, or the a Nike? <laughs> okay, that's very funny. <laughs> oh, very good. Blame the Algorithm, where we uh, we find things on the internet we've been scrolling through. We don't know how they've got onto our phone, but somehow they have. So, it's a great uh, summary. Yeah, very especially good. Especially for yeah. the ones I've got. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, yeah I, don't, I actually don't even know how it works. Anyway, it is all good. Uh, the one that keeps popping up on mine at the moment is this fad of like pure eating, like they're only eating meat and like the- Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like the, I think they're called- oh. like, Is it pure boys? Is that like or, the liver king type of guy? Yeah, yeah. like he's only oh. eating meat and like fats. And it's like no carbs and all that type of stuff. And like all it must want to say is like fucking grow up. You obviously don't have a wife and kids that so you have to feed them. <laughs> like, like slaving away over fucking like hamburger fucking patties all day long. Kids aren't eating that sort of shit. Anyway. Your kids don't eat hamburger patties. No, yeah, well, they need something else to eat rather than just fucking meat and five eggs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about a sausage on bread? Oh, I ate one of them on the weekend. I bet you did. I, went like, to, oh, I had to vote for the election yeah. and that came out. You've got to do a postal. It's a no-brainer. A sausage sizzle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be cold, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, And then they mail you a Coles voucher. <laughs> Yeah, so you get one in return. So you can go buy your own sausage and bread. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay? know why they got me so bad. <laughs> I got nearly had heart palpitations. Oh, that. shit. <laughs> oh. that, didn't that liver kick guy end up being no good or something? No, he just ate so many steroids. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Right. The thing he just, yeah. He said he never had steroids yeah. and then it came out that he was spending like 16 grand a month on steroids yeah. or something and, like that. Well, and that's the thing. So, oh, yeah, I'm eating so pure. None of this toxin in my body. And I'll go out and say, and fucking throw MDMA down their throat. Like, well, I don't know if Liver fat. King did that necessarily. No, but these but other blokes well, yeah, we're not making that yeah. Some people are, obviously do that. Yeah, and and honestly, I'm that's- Each to their own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all wonderful people. Hypocrisy 101. That's fair. No, that is fair. Okay. Well, my feed's a little bit different. Um, I've <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a vegan, so. <laughs> it would be weird if that was the same. <laughs> now, that actually is very good gear if you know the backstory of Skid being a vegan and what Cody's just talked about, yes. in which case I'm designating that as our pilot pun of the week. Come on. And it just wasn't that hard, was it? But it uh, could be. It certainly is at the moment. <laughs> oh, oh, that's kind of weird, don't I? <laughs> It's going to be good to put up as a brand to post that. Why are you sitting there with a heart on? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do, I guess. Okay. Great segment. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. All right. So the concept- Is the table a bit hot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why does my can keep rolling down towards Mickers? <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Get okay, back on okay. track there. Yeah. Yeah. No, allow me, no allow one fucking me. cares, right. mate. They no. really don't. They, they okay. couldn't give a rat's what we say. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gertie. Great, great. <laughs> what do you got to kids? <laughs> okay, so I've, I've been seeing these videos of this guy who records like, like really high quality almost ASMR type audio from like out in the world. I guess I guess the type of thing if you were doing like Foley for a music or so, a Foley sound for a music for, for music. So, Foley sound for movies, sorry. You yeah. know how they, they make those – what is Foley? Apart uh, from obviously when you serve and <laughs> like it, you oh, know, yeah, it's like, it. <laughs> You know how like in a movie, if someone's running through the grass, they'll have a sound designer who like, I don't know, scrunches leaves or something to yeah. make it sound like the foot's oh, hitting the ground. Is that like, called that's Foley sound? Yeah, it's called Foley sound. So I guess this stuff would be useful for that. So he's just got these crazy microphones and he just like goes and puts them on uh, like like moss in the rainforest or a tree or something like that. Or he, um, he had one where he broke a hole in a frozen lake and put the microphone in under that. And it's just like the most satisfying stuff. You can just hear everything that's happening in this frozen lake. Which shit, wait, the mic goes in it and yeah. you just hear what is happening in a frozen lake. I don't I don't know. Like bubbles, you, the rain, there's like rain landing on top of the lake. You can hear like every single raindrop. It's pretty unreal. What's the guy's uh, page? Chase, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, don't, don't. No, Charles Rose, I want to say. Okay. And anyways, I think we've got one on a sound button. This oh, is right. one Dave... Charles Rose, yeah, definitely his name. This is one from a tree, I believe. Yeah. 
Wait, so that's inside a tree? Apparently. There's a yeah. lot happening in there. Yeah. Sounds like a giant eating an apple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that tree's got a lot of termites. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's what I've been watching. It's Hold cool. on, Skin. That was folly useful to know. Uh, okay. Do they wrap that up in our folly? Yeah. <laughs> um, I've had some for quite a long time where I've, I've had like the pimple popping and blackheads and that. But one that's been making a serious appearance in my algorithm is the. Wait, you watched? On, no, it's it's on the same kind of direction trend. trend. Yeah, sure. um, yeah. Ear cleaning, oh, like that's wax. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Michael, I know, <laughs> I know. Wait, it's, is it? The, I think I've got and, this before. Is yeah. it where they like? That proper like rinse out your yeah. ear, all the wax comes. I've out. seen one where it's like almost like headphones with like water going into their ears and like stuffs going out and filling these like earphone looking things, and then like they'll go in. They've got a little camera and they're like scraping the earwax around the edge, and it's like you, I mean you can't look away really. Yeah, it's just good content. Um, I would find it quite simple to look away. <laughs> <laughs> quite the contrary, I would. Thought. Would you ever do that? This Dude, content, yeah, just do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I kind of seen I, it, and I'm like, I kind of want that done because I feel yeah. like I have quite a bit of earwax. We should do get it. a little kit on Amazon, and I don't know if I'd be keen on doing it myself. Oh, I'm sure we can. I can you do it. it. You do it. Yeah, yeah. You're a professional. I'd trust makers. Yeah, absolutely. He knows how to do things. Um, <laughs> mine, mine Hardly. at the moment has really like chosen. I think it's uh, the algorithm has mistakenly thought that I'm someone that can get on the tools and I mean like the actual mm. real tools like mm. hardware type of operation. I've got this bloke called the TikTok inspector that keeps coming up and uh, have you seen this? I think mean, I know who this is. <laughs> he literally just goes with like a GoPro or his phone or whatever and uh, goes around to new homes in Victoria Yeah, and just finds like all the defects in the property. So he just goes around and just, <laughs> I've got an example actually yeah. I'll give you an audio grab. How they've run the power. Yeah, with some render tape. Do not render. Are you for real? This is non-compliant. Non-compliant. Non-compliant rainheads. Non-compliant overflow. Non-compliant builder. <laughs> Very bloke, good. It's builders must hate him with a passion because he just goes around and he's like, yeah, pretty much just everything. He's like non-compliant, non-compliant, takes a photo, sends it to the owners. Mm, but it's like oh, when no, I build- He'd have lots of mates. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> but when I build a house parties. in 2080, I am definitely going to just walk around to the builders and say, hey, guys, this is not compliant. <laughs> I just feel Probably like it's really helping my knowledge. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Every couple of weeks we like to give out a little friend of the show card to sort of thank and recognise the Chockies for their wonderful contributions. We've got these these very high-quality bottle openers. They are nice. Yeah, yeah very How exclusive. many have we got left? Uh, a couple of thousand. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's, well, how many friend of the shows are there? Yeah, official. Yeah, I think we're up to the thirty second friend of the show. So, uh -huh. the, I mean, the bottle opener is quite exclusive. The, mm. We also send out pogs with them. They are not as exclusive. We have millions of them, but and they still only hand fine. out one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, because they're you know semi exclusive. Slash Skin just said they're not exclusive, so exactly the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, anyway, so we're up to friend of the show number 32. We've got an applicant who has sent in a few things over the years. Dawson, I believe his name is. Oh. So we'll just try to get him on the phone. Yeah, give him a call. Howdy. Hello. Hello. Hey, mate, how's it going? Doing good. How are you boys? Good as gold. How did you even know where, who we were? Because Skin didn't even introduce himself <laughs> on the phone there. <laughs> Not me, Australian accents come through my phone, so. Yeah, right. No, I, yeah, I assumed that was the case. It was just a real giveaway. But no, obviously, we got the chocolates and you're a uh, friend of the show applicant. Thank you for being here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great context. Yeah, yeah. Well, to make you feel welcome, mate, actually. <laughs> Glad to be here. No, I yeah. set up well. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I do this regularly. Um, <laughs> the old podcasting. <laughs> Uh, Dawson, can we run through some of your answers, mate? You filled out an application form. You've, got, you've, I mean, yeah, you've you've given us some great content. Obviously, I was going to start with your favourite sporting moment, if that's all right. Absolutely, go ahead. Well, apparently, it's Bo Jackson breaking a baseball bat. Mm. Is that, have I got that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's funny that it's his oh, yeah. favourite sporting moment, but you have to go ahead. Yeah. I found that <laughs> kind of weird. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, that's that's I mean, how I read pretty it. Pretty much covered it, you know. He broke out yeah, of his head, he didn't he? It, right over his head. It was, I mean, it was a little crack beforehand, but there's something about just the raw power of a man with, mm. you know, a lot of chemical influence. Mm. Uh, just able to split one right down the middle. Yes. <laughs> right. okay. Was he a scientist, was he? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Real upset. I mean, it was, a, it was a close second with that. And, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen the hit the bird hit by pitch moment, but it's also a beautiful moment. Oh, crikey. Okay. Yeah. But, Is, 
Hey, Dawson, is Bo Jackson, like, you know the movie, I believe it's Trouble with the Curve? Have you ever seen that movie? No. Excellent. Well, this will be good. (laughs) (laughs) Clint Eastwood's in it. It's one of the great films. Have you seen it, Cody? Trouble with the Curve. I'm more of a Clint Eastwood guy when it comes to his Western stuff, man. Got me on the wrong loop. Uh, so sorry. All right, let's forget that because oh, that's going to be a, that's a difficult question for you to answer, unfortunately. Um, and can, Dawson, can I just ask? I'm <laughs> detecting just a slight US accent in your voice. Potentially, is that astute of me? That is absolutely astute of you. So, uh, yeah, I'm honored to be able to speak in with like the Muhammad Ali of would be uh, Eastern Australian sports and comedy podcasts over here. But you made it across the pond, so feeling good. Excellent. I love that. And he's from Minnesota, actually, mm-hmm. Goat. And you were telling me about those small actually, soft drink yeah, cans. Yeah. <laughs> we got real small drinks up here. It's difficult. <laughs> this is a similar joke to what I made, yeah, but I like that you went with that, Dawson. That's nice. Yeah. That's you just translated thing. it for our US audience. I like what you've yeah. done there. Yeah. Had to. Crikey. Okay, Dawson, you also left us your favorite joke in the application, if you can remember that. Oh, can't. Can you deliver this, Dawson? This <laughs> is a belter. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, so basically Usher, Prince and Michael Jackson are trying to solve a murder off the get go. Usher says, all right, boys, I think it's time time for us to start looking for some Prince. Michael Jackson acutely goes, well, he's right there. Usher says, no, no fingerprints. Michael Jackson responds gladly. <laughs> 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 that's what we said. Yeah, I was say, it's like delayed reaction there. Oh, that's it. awesome! <laughs> I think that's so good. He was like, oh, "It's not my favorite, but just off the top of my noggin, this is what I'm going." Oh. That is a very good one to have off the top of your noggin. <laughs> that's strong. Well done. Well done. Appreciate it, boys. <laughs> You all set us high standard. You've had, uh, you know, 250 episodes. I mean, coming up on the 200th, actually. I had to make sure that didn't be a joke you heard. <laughs> yeah, that was not one that we've ever used, I don't think. So well done, Dawson. Yeah. That is phenomenal. No, that's fresh. Well done. Um, and, mate, a couple of mustard. You gave us a couple of mustard dust topics as well. Getting to the airport early. Kingus? Good. Must. Absolutely. No yeah. brainer. Couldn't Nick, disagree uh, more. Nick, oh, Nickers is the same as me. It's a brainer. <laughs> I think it's overrated. The plane's not going to go with you. It actually does. It's done on multiple occasions. <laughs> oh, yeah, except for those two times. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's yeah. gone without uh, us. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah. car's not charging. It's such a... Oh, it's such a must that my wife and I, the, the girl I'm getting to know, have of course, slept must. over at the airport overnight to make sure we were there on time. What? Probably yeah. dust. That seems <laughs> slightly <laughs> extreme. Yeah. Yeah, what that's... airport? <laughs> was, it like, was it even comfortable? Why would you do that? Sac- oh, it was outside the baggage claim on some plastic seats. The Sacramento out- airport in California. My okay. buddy had a wedding out that way, and we had to fly home at like 6 a.m. Ah. And I had no way to get to the airport except for the night before. So we got there at 9 o'clock and were there the whole night. Okay. <laughs> Crikey. Okay. Yeah, right. I'll- and we made our flight, <laughs> boys, that easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's we see, we see it if you didn't. Sounds <laughs> easy. Imagine if you were there for nine hours and you missed it. <laughs> you two would do that. You guys would fuck that out somehow. It just happened to be getting a yeah. coffee as it's taken off. I don't know if Dawson heard, but remember that story we told it before the podcast when the three of us were at the airport and the lady told us we'd missed our flight when we were looking at the plane. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, it's just there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you've missed that one. <laughs> Similar situation. My wife and I were having the same problem. We were sitting and watching movie on my phone and waiting for the boarding to start. All of a sudden, we're just sitting there and they're like, last call for the flight. We realized that we had been holding up the plane for 15 minutes, had no clue they'd boarded the whole plane. We're oh, sitting right in front of it. <laughs> yeah, you two would do yeah, that. We, would, yeah. that, no, we, would, that's we need to travel like together, yeah. Dawson, I think. Yeah. We've got a lot in common. <laughs> that just happens to the best of them. I'll gladly make my way out to the Brisbane area. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Um, and Dawson, you, you mentioned a couple of favorite moments from our podcast as well that I wanted to ask you about. This quote, I don't even remember. Uh, apparently, Godey said, you just got third place in an argument with only two people. It feels like something he would say to me. <laughs> what, what is that all about? I don't even remember the context. I just remember Godey saying that specific phrase, and mm. I've been using it ever since. <laughs> I feel like actually it's a, on, it's a good one. Yeah. On second thoughts, I think that could have been said to Mikus. Surely. It would have had to be you just Mikus because having conversations with Mikus sometimes he will actually like defeat himself in an argument or he'll like talk himself in such a circle that you're like, okay, well, yeah, this is getting pretty hard to follow. Yeah. So, I reckon it might have been when we did the hypothetical. 
Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Like, I got third place, and it was pretty much me talking yeah, to myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great quote. Don't <laughs> then, underestimate the ten thousand rats, boys. That's true. I'm not. <laughs> and then your other favorite moment you said was at one sixty, where Skin didn't know who Tom Jones was, <laughs> and then Goody was saying, "It's not unusual you don't know who Skin." <laughs> and we were all just sitting there staring at Skin. And he's like, had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it just spoke in this who skin is perfectly oh, <laughs> it was the first you guys like first t-shirt sale you're like oh, Tom Jones and then you start cracking some jokes and skins just lost <laughs> <laughs> it's, one of, yeah. it's pretty much one of the great things about this podcast we think uh, Dawson so I'm hoping that you share that point of view <laughs> Absolutely. All right. No, well, thank you very much, mate. Thank you for your application and for, for being friend of the show. I think we're happy to award that one to you. Number 32, you'll be you'll be pleased to know. So congratulations. Very exclusive. I'm yeah. cracking the beer as we speak in celebration. <laughs> well, okay. you can't yet because you haven't got your bottle open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a can. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be in contact, mate. I will get your address and send it over to you in the next four to six business years, obviously. Take care. Cheers, boys. Thank Always you, buddy. Good to hear. Thank you, mate. We are finishing with the Slogo game. Slogo Brands will give you the line and you guess the company. There's a strong chance that everyone will do this well except me. Oh, I did the wrong one. Um, yeah, there is a strong chance that everyone will do this well except me. And that's mainly because I'm running the game now, so I don't actually even guess. Uh, so that makes it easier. I don't go as... Badly in the game anymore. Nice. But I've chosen good ones for you today. Very simple game. I'll play a slogan. You tell me what company uses it and whether they're great people or not. Mm. Um, they all are. They <laughs> <laughs> Now, this one does require you to buzz in. It might not necessarily be the slogan that the company uses. It might just be something that they ran with, with like a nice ad. Clip from an ad or something Nice ad, a clip from an ad, something like that, yeah. So just be aware of that as well. I've tried to progressively make them harder. Oh, wonderful. Okay, Mm. so buzzers, what are we we with? Girdle. Albert. Barley. Nice. You guys are good at that. Well done. All right. That's all I'll be good at. (laughs) Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Mm Mm-hmm. Sound number one. Not too heavy, not Gaitle. too light. Oh. Not too heavy, not too light. It's just right. That is correct. And just I do this every time. Let me get to a correcting. Bang. Holy one shit. to go to. I don't even know what that okay. was nope. still. Just right. Like the cereal. cereal. Oh. oh, as a clue, topic, they're all breakfast items. Oh, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, it wouldn't have helped. It actually go wouldn't have well helped. Done. You get half a point for that one because <laughs> you did it without the clue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should I get one and a half then, you fuckwit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the old bite you get one. Yeah. That would not have helped, let's be honest. I do think we should handicap Goaty. So he should start two seconds. No, after. I don't so, want well, it because he'll still get it yeah. and it will look worse. It seems slightly extreme skin. We can probably... Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Just yeah. make him wait for the buzzer. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go. Number two. Goodle. Bye. Tip top's the one. Good on ya, mum. I would have got tip that. Top. So if you had five, tip two top. seconds. So that's bread, so you can eat it for breakfast. Oh, so you turn and they it are tip top people, if mm. you know what I'm saying. Migus, what do you put in toaster? Bread. Oh, nice. nice. Migus. I think I'm some kind of idiot. No, sorry. What do cows drink? Obviously, water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> All right. Uh, Goodle. Did I give you a correct thing there, uh, You don't need to. I've got it in my head. Oh. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> sound number three. Here you are. Just like a chocolate Goodle. barley. Oh. Cocoa Pops. That is indeed Cocoa Pops. Fuck. Well done. And that's Godel out to a 3 0 lead. I'm is genuinely this- on Perth time over here. Right? Would you have that's got weird. that one eventually? eventually I, yeah. yeah. All right. I think the next two are very hard. Hence, I've chosen them. Wonderful. Thank you. Here I've been going go. so well. This <laughs> <time>. <laughs> uh, just to confirm, three to go to nil to both you two. Yep. Okay, yeah. Yep. Glad you confirmed. Here we go. Nutritious energy, low GI. Albert. That's Milo, isn't it? That is indeed Milo skin. Very well and done. And that's two points. Oh, How the heck have that you got that? It is good skin. I don't well just remember that ad. That remember, my skin. mum gives me Milo to go oh, and go and go. That's yeah, the one. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> There you go there and you go can. and go. Yeah. <laughs> well done because they're actually not a sponsor yet, but when they are, yes. that will be good yes. to have in. Uh, all right, so Skim, well done. You're on the board. Here Last one is worth double points for everyone except Goaty. <laughs> 
So here we go. <laughs> Triple for Mikas. Triple for Mikas. Does he need that? Uh, first clue is quite tough. Did you bring a spoon? Barley. Oh, okay. I've got no idea. Uh, cornflakes. Well done. No. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> uh, it's not cornflakes. It's a very tough first clue. I think the second clue quite easy, but I just thought I'd give everyone a crack to get it in. Did you bring a Ooh. spoon? Mm, did you bring a spoon? Something that you would eat with a spoon, so it's not bread. I'll have a crack for the sake of it. Well Fruit Loops. Well done, Skin. That's incorrect. <laughs> nice. No. no. Go to do you want one guess? Nesquik cereal. Well done. No. <laughs> also wrong. Okay. I should probably stop saying well done in case it gets yeah. confusing. But yeah, no, you're all wrong. Uh, second clue. Same company. Okay. Did you know that is French for you? Go to oh. Petit Yum Yogurts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your play, yogurts. <laughs> That is indeed what correct. The, what is that? It was this kid just dropping f bombs in the middle of their ass. <laughs> that, they did it. That's us bleeping out the name of the company, you goose. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kind of ruins the game if it's like. Yeah. <laughs> Pitch him yum yogurt. Oh, what is it? <laughs> not too heavy. Not too light. Just right. What is it? Kellogg's. The kid's not swearing. <laughs> Uh, Go to you have very much got the chocolates in that game. I think four one was actually your. There's three people played that mate. Winning score, four one, zero zero. Oh, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) You've you've never lost that game, have you? I doubt it. Slow go game, yeah, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Well, unless Maybe. he plays it with his other friends, because yeah. you guys are never going to beat him. <laughs> that's, that's probably one of the first times I've gotten one right, I reckon. Yeah. I, I think I've ever got one right. Yeah. I, well, you would have got one right there. Yeah. Well, after, uh, well you had a guess about Yo Play, would you say for that? Cornflakes. You're well, not that far off. I was going to say yogurt after it went around, and I was like, yeah. I think it's yogurt, because the spoon thing, it kind of. Uh, uh, the, yeah. little, the little tiny tubs are about this big. Mm. Yeah, I know them well. Mm. And then they used to say, like, it's French for yum. Yep. But then they got – actually, I'm pretty sure – here's interesting facts for you. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they got sued because it wasn't actually French for yum. Are you sure it was sued or were they buried? <laughs> Why buried? I don't know. It's just <laughs> another name. <laughs> it could have been any name. If you just do that gag with the insert name here. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah okay. I see. I see. <laughs> How about I insert the name of the person oh, who well, sent us in a Glad you said oh, yeah, yeah, I'll insert this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Continue skin. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, tweet of the week. It wasn't actually sent into us, so it was just found on Twitter, I suppose. So. Or X, I should say. It's fucking Twitter. Which okay. I've got a sound for. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. How's that? It's a record scratch, which is like if an X was drawn across a record, it would be scratched. Therefore, sound effect. Great. Great. And by that, I mean it just came on the roadcaster. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> You only what? <laughs> it was loaded onto the road cart. <laughs> oh, oh, Elon, what are you doing? Oh, no. Not here, Elon. <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, anyways, the old... Celery juice. Yeah, the old tweet. Come. Nope, it's from Dave. Dave posted the tweet. Dice. Which Dave? That Dave? No, different Dave. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Different, Dave. Uh, God. I thought you'd get a chuckle out of it, Gody. It's sort of like a, a very positive style of parenting. Uh, Dave said, my son handed me a picture he'd painted today. Uh-huh. I asked him what it was. He said, it's our house. I walked him outside and asked, do you see how it absolutely isn't? <laughs> it's disappointing. <laughs> they got to learn it some They do. They do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They really do. You know? I like it. That's parenting 101. Well done. Yeah. I would just love to see you guys like with a child for like 24 hour period. Yeah, it'd I've... be fucking like, it'd be carnage. Or a house. I'd take either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <Dave>. take children. <laughs> <laughs> It's a rule of thumb. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't just go take time. <laughs> I take one. No, yeah. What, what child? Just, no, just one house. Oh. Or two houses. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> if Meriton's looking to get on board. Um, right. unlock, unlock your doors, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably. We have the right way to getting their support, spraying oh. them. 
Oh, yeah. That's another episode of the We Got The Chocolates podcast complete. We, uh, we would love you to get in contact with us this week and send a question in on the chalk line. Again, that's wegotthechocolates.com.au. We've got a listen to the chalks question, uh, question, listen to the chalks segment coming up. Uh, so we're happy to respond to just whatever question you ask. Might be a hypothetical. Mm. Migus loves those. One of the great jingles, listen to the chalks too. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's because I only say one word. <laughs> uh, so that's your homework for this week. We'd just love to have some stuff to answer in that Listen to the Chalk segment. I think that would be very, very exciting. Agreed. Excellent. Great contribution all round. Well yeah. done, Skin. Yep. Perfect. Remember that if you're out there uh, having a laugh with your mates this week, then you're absolutely getting the chocolate. So we love having you listen here, and we'll speak to you again this time next week. And as always, good luck in the future. And that's stumps. Love you. Love you.